Let's start paying homage and not just paying reference. Scorpion album, Drake, let's get it. Off the bat, despite maybe somebody writing his most urban accepted album uh, to allow him to not go super top 40 pop, I think he's a pretty good writer altogether and I think he's penned some amazing records for other artists as well. I do believe that it starts off really strong and it's mostly because of 40. 40's production here in this album constantly and often outshines Drake in his own playing field. All home base anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I'll, I'll, of course, 40's sound, which is the underwater. Like emotionally, my heart hurts. Left me. You can't even dislike that kind of vibe because to be honest with you, it connects with you. It connects with you in a very, um, emotional and a very uh, uh we are the world kind of like vibe like you can't even dislike the shit like damn you don't feel that uh. we're definitely padding up the streams at the end of the day this is a business i get it it's kind of corny but at the same time i do understand and to all your fans I appreciate it because they want all the drake music they can get before you disappear and have another baby what else is get what else are we getting this year what else are we getting this year? Who knows? Damn, I'm thirsty. Now the project seems very side A rap, side B more of a uh, melodic and more of the uh, lady directed records. I do feel like this is his most balance album in regards to comparing it to so far gone i think so far gone was perfectly balanced and be and, and the original not the knockoff uh, uh best buy version eight out of ten is again gives me that so far gone vibe though the hook is absolutely terrible it's cringy as shit uh, i do think he saves it with the verses and again always manages to deliver you know he just has these lines that just, they're absolutely relatable at any time that you listen to them in that context. Like the way that he paints the picture is in a way that he's able to basically s s tell you a story that we've all been through at some point, at, s at some situation, and actually make it a thing. It's, it's quite much homage as Drake pays to older artists. Wouldn't it be nice to sometimes actually get a feature in there somewhere? Jim Jones should have been on Emotionless. Project Pat should have been on Nonstop and Justin Bieber should have been on Summer Games singing that shit and having his writers recreate it so it wasn't absolute fucking trash. I wasn't even trying to go there yet. Anyway, Jay-Z feature, super fire, and he manages to outshine Drake with one single verse, the Zimmerman line, which to be honest with you is like the most pivotal line in the entire album when you talk about significance of societal issues which he seems to not be able to really address god's plan is socially aware i guess does god's plan being a hit record take away from well no bullshit because drake is not talking about anything societal he's talking about his own becoming is God's plan at no point does he actually address anything social or societal or struggles of the you know Sanders Rose is one of the most uh, dynamic records I think in the project I think it just has such an emotional drive through it and DJ Premier once again shows why he is one of the best and one of the most legendary producers in the game despite obviously his forte being DJ anytime that he's on an album it's usually on a record that almost time stamps the project for DJ Premier and allows him to become a staple on that experience for people that listen to it at that time. Now that record becomes a classic, now DJ Premier is on a classic record. And that's usually how it goes on most projects that have a DJ Premier record on them. Offside B with Peak, which is a record that I think is right into the lane that we prefer Drake in, in regards to, pause, in regards to when he's actually excelling and getting his fans because that softer stuff he's able to not only be convincing in because that's the image that we see when we see Drake. We see a nice guy that has a girlfriend that used to be a stripper and 
you know, she just, she, she, she had a hard time, so he paid some bills, and next thing you know, they had a cup of coffee, and they put some Kahlua in it, and BAM! Story of a died on head. So, of course, we don't believe Drake when he does the tough guy stuff, which is why that battle wasn't able to continue. How could it? The only answer that I heard was that he would have taken some secret bitch ass thing he knew about Kanye and exposed him. Which is an argument what Pusha did to Drake in a way, but I, I don't know how to tell you Drake fans. It's just, it's just different. It's just different. It's just different. Like we could have done without that the rest of our lives pretty much so summer games is really bad It's really bad, but it's even worse in between two fairly good R&B records It completely throws your vibe like we're here one second and now I gotta listen to you Sample chop your voice into a stutter that goes into a bass breakdown Then we go into Jaden which is a perfect record for Drake to have it's nice for what in the next in the next piece which is a smash record it is by far one of the most universally listened to uh, records out right now there's three DJs playing it it's getting played three times minimum nice for what is a smash it's out of there it has nothing to do with the video the record is a fucking explosion I think finesse is really strong I really like in my feelings uh, the don't matter what sample with Michael Jackson uh, I think it's good I think it lives up to at least a solid example of how to purchase a vocal and use it and execute it and make it a solid record had help writing uh, which everyone's had help writing on some level I think March 14th is really dope and it was dope to actually see him exit the album addressing those issues and just basically coming out and saying this is my response it's still L but L also starts the word love and I think Drake prospers when he focuses on love and emotional distress you just never know Either way, guys, thank you for tuning in. Rambo Hustle with the Hip Hop Report. Uh, we will be back very, very soon. Check us out on Instagram, Our Hustle Radio, and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave us some comments. Tell us if we ain't shit. Woo!